So today's topic is osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a type of joint disease that occur when the cartilage or the cushion between joints wears away over time. Although the condition can damage any joint in the body, the most commonly affected joint those near the ends of the fingers, knees, hip, low back, neck and at the base of the thumb. Osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis affecting millions of people worldwide and this osteoarthritis occur more frequently as we age so most commonly it affects the after the age of 45 osteoarthritis can disrupt the quality of life affecting both work and normal regular activities so let's understand what are the causes of osteoarthritis osteoarthritis occurs when the cartilage that cushions the end bones in the joints gradually degenerates or wears away this happens slowly and generally it gets worse over the time the cartilage is an important structural component of the body it is a smooth elastic tissue that permits nearly frictionless joint motion so the loss of cartilage cushion associated with osteoarthritis causes friction between the bones the bones of the joints rub more closely against one another with less of the shock absorbing benefits of the cartilage the exact cause of osteoarthritis is unknown but several things are thought to increase the risk of developing the condition such as history of joint injury as a result of accident or or any orthopedic surgery abnormal joint or limb movement inherited factors aging obesity excess weight can make the condition worse in the joints hip and spine and other conditions like rheumatoid arthritis gout lyme disease diabetes and congenital disorders of the joint so let's move on to symptoms pain that increases with prolonged activity but gets a bit better with rest stiffness tenderness and swelling bone spurs cracking sensation when the joint is in use a decreased range of motion so diagnosis and treatment the doctor will ask questions about your pain such as if the pain gets worse with activity and better with rest the doctor will then carry out a physical examination closely examining the affected joint checking for tenderness swelling or redness and range of motion imaging tests such as x-ray or mri scan may be ordered by the doctor to get a detailed image of the affected joint blood test may also be recommended to rule out other causes or other joint pain such as rheumatoid arthritis joint fluid analysis is also another test where the doctor uses a needle to draw out fluid from the affected joint The fluid is then tested to determine if there is an inflammation and if the pain is caused by an infection. Now let's understand what is the treatment for osteoarthritis. So in modern medicine no treatment exists for osteoarthritis but the treatment options may help to effectively manage the symptoms. So in this treatment options include certain medicines medications like painkillers and therapies such as physical therapy occupational therapy and yoga and there is also a surgical option such as joint replacement where the damaged joints are removed and replaced with plastic and metal joints so as i previously mentioned treatment options in allopathy are limited to non steroidal analgesics to control pain and in severe cases surgical correction however homeopathy takes into account the triggering symptoms the associated symptoms and the status of the immune system before deciding on a treatment regimen some of the popular homeopathic medications based on symptoms are first one is bryonia alba The peculiar symptom of bryonia alba is slightest movement increases the pain. Pain is usually worse as night and better by applying pressure. The next drug is arnica. Arnica is a chronic osteoarthritis with a feeling of bruised soreness can indicate a need for this remedy. Pain is worse from touch and may occur in joints that were injured in the past. Third drug is belladonna. Belladonna pain is sudden pain with a sensation of heat. The joint looks red and inflamed and the surface may feel hot to touch. 
the next drug is ruta ruta is useful in joints with feeling of great stiffness and lameness tendons and the capsules of the joints may be affected the next is ledum pal ledum pal peculiar symptom is pain and inflammation often begin in the toes and spread up through the ankles and knees joints may have cracking sounds cold applications bring relief relief to both the pain and swelling so that's all for today i hope you like my video and please do not forget to like and share this video with your family and friends so that it may help for others and please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to support me thank you so much for